Welcome. Let's see how to install a new plugin to your WordPress site. And to do so, there are many ways, and I'll classify them in two categories. The category category one, in which we have to download the plugin from the WordPress site, and the category two, in which we don't have to download the plugin. You have to do this on your WordPress dashboard. So let's start with the category one. In this, come to the site wordpress.org/extend/plugins. This is the official official site of WordPress plugins where you can find all the plugins given by the WordPress. So in this website, you will see the, on the left side the plugins are categorized accordingly. So you can find the respective plugin by clicking the uh, labels, or you can use the search box to do so. For example. Uh, I want to search some plugin like vertical scroll post in which post will scroll vertically so click search plugin it will show you some result and you can read each post and find the most appropriate for your site for example if I want this post sorry this visit I'll click it and after clicking it you will see the page for this visit so read the description re read the installation method facts screenshots and live demo you can also see the live demo so read all of the requirements and the wordpress requirement is here that we require a wordpress 2.7 or higher after reading all the thing and if it satisfies the requirements click on the download version when you will be finished with the download just go to your download folder to find the visit here is the visit it will be in the rar format now from here this way divides itself into two sub ways means there are two ways in this downloading visit option now the first way is extract it as in here now go to the folder until you find the folder which contains all the files so this is our folder now upload this folder to your hosting account in the um, on your hosting account there is a folder wordpress plugin inside wordpress content so you have to copy this into the wordpress content in that wordpress plugin to make it working okay the second is way is don't copy it to the host if you find it difficult just come to your wordpress account and in dashboard click on the plugin section in plugin section click add new in add new section there is a tab that you find on the top is upload click it now after clicking it just choose the file from your computer but choose rar format remember and click open and click install now so in this case you don't have to upload it in on your host this will automatically get uploaded on your host so this is our first category in which we have to download a plugin first and then it has again two sub categories sub ways in which we have to upload the plugin to our website now come let's come to the second category in which we have we don't have to download a plugin in that you have to just come you have to um, click plugin sec uh, in plugin section click add new now in previous step we clicked on upload button but not for now don't click on upload button you will see a search box there just type the uh, uh, keyword for your plugins j j as in the same way that you have done in the wordpress plugin site just as you search in this site just do the same search in your plugin site for that just I am copying this keyword now I'm pasting it and click search plugin it will show the same result that you got in the wordpress site so it is the same procedure that you do in wordpress site or you can do it here only but the difference is in wordpress site you have to download it but in this you have to just install it click install now and it will automatically get installed you don't have to download it okay now after finishing this step either from the category one that we just uh, learned or from this category in which we don't have to download a uh, plugin after completing this you have to configure your visit to work or to make a, it alive for that you will find your visit in either of the two categories the first category is 
visit section under appearance tab click visit in this section you will see the list of widgets that are currently installed on your wordpress site just what you have to do you have to just pick a widget and drag it and drop it on the right side of the sidebar in the position where you want it okay just drag drop here and it will ask you to do some settings title and all and do it but if you don't get your visit here it is not uh, av available here then it must be available in the section settings in settings you will see the list of visits uh, available for you if they are not available here in visit section so just come to the settings and you will see your visit name here just click it it will open a setting page for that visit just do the setting the settings are easy and specific to the visit so you have to just read and do the settings and click on update setting now again visits are or plugins are of two types the one which automatically sets themselves to the site and the second one which asks you to copy the code to the place where you want this visit to be alive or to be visible so just copy this code and go to the editor section here in the appearance tab not in the plugin in the appearance tab editor click it on the right you will see the list of header files or php files of your wordpress site you have to copy this code in the wordpress page php page in which you want this uh, widget to be visible and then copy that code so when you will get finished with the, uh, the these steps your widget will be alive so for to make it simple i'll again revise it you have two categories in which you have to download a widget and second in which you have don't have to download after in the first category after downloading you have to upload it to the wordpress host site or from the wordpress dashboard plugin section and in the second category you do, in which you don't have to download you have to go to the plugin and new section and you have to search and you have to install it after the installation your widget will fall under two section the first section is setting and the second section is visit again the vis um, plugins are the are of two types in the first type you don't have to copy the code they automatically set themselves and in the second option you have to copy the code to your php file so just do some practice and it will be easy for you as you do some practice okay